the falling leaves drift by the window the autumn leaves happy first thanksgiving bobby may happy first thanksgiving little gobbler you're so cute oh good stretches Good stretches. The Timmy, what you doing? In go the turkeys. I feel so much better today than I felt yesterday. Yesterday was actually a pretty eventful day that I filmed none of, but I would also say it's probably been the hardest day since Bobby's come home. Just as far as like sleep deprivation and frustration and all kinds of stuff. So it started off with uh, Chris getting his hair cut. He had an appointment at 8.30, which is like for getting us getting out of the house at 8.30 is definitely way earlier than we have so far with the baby. Um, and I, of course, wanted, I wanna go with them because I wanted to show off cute little Bobby to our hairdresser and so yeah. And so that happens and then at 9.30 I had the appointment with a lactation consultant and that actually went really well. She came, she said that Bobby's tongue tie was like pretty significant, something we should probably get fixed. She gave us a good recommendation for a person that'll fix it. Um, which kind of made me feel a little bit better that, you know, any issues or pain I was feeling, it wasn't, there was like a reason behind it. So that kind of made me feel, I guess, a little bit better. Um, but she also worked with me on how to position her, how to get her on the latch. And I swear when she did it, when she like maneuvered everything, she went, Bobby went on without a problem because I had been having pain on my left pretty badly and like on the right it was like i'd say it maybe just bothered a little bit it wasn't actually painful but even on the left side when she put her on there it was nothing like no pain whatsoever and she was trying to teach me how to do it and i was kind of getting it it didn't feel like as good whenever i did it myself but it definitely like the pain was less while she was here and she taught me a lot of stuff about how to tell when they're full and how long I should really be feeding her. I didn't think, I probably wasn't like feeding her quite long enough every time. Um, she said, you know, it can help decrease the time between feedings if she's eating plenty. She said with a good latch, my time of feeding should actually go down quite a bit. And I felt really good after she left. I was like, oh, this is awesome. I'm gonna be able to feed, you know, with little or no pain and still gonna, Get her tongue tie looked at but at least in the meantime you know i'll be able to feed her well or so i thought <laughs> so anyways we go on about the day getting some stuff ready for thanksgiving and i you know go to feed her and i swear it's worse like i start hurting on my right side i can't get it to not hurt on my left side and like basically every time i fed her it was I try, it hurts, so I try to break her off, which hurts worse. Every time I try and break her, like, break her suction, it hurts worse than it would be if I just left her on. Um, and I retry, and it hurts again, and I retry, and it hurts again, and I just give up, and I let it hurt and feed her. And that was, like, every single time that I fed her for the rest of the day. Um, so, yeah, it was getting, like, really, really frustrating. We are getting that tongue tie looked at. We can't, we, they were closed yesterday and today. The place we're gonna take her, so I'm gonna call tomorrow. <clears throat> hopefully that they're open. <clears throat> and hopefully they can see us really soon because I think that that will help a lot. And also the lactation consultant wants me to make a follow-up after we do the tongue tie. And if it doesn't help, then I can have her re-show me everything figure out what I'm doing wrong because I swear it looks to me looks like I'm doing exactly what she showed me and then I put her on it and it still hurts so 
I don't know what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> but on a more positive note, she had her one week, I guess it's one week, she was like a week and a half though, a uh, doctor's appointment and she is up to six pounds and five ounces. That's from five pounds and seven ounces when she left the hospital a week ago, which is insane. Like they just have a goal to get back to birth weight, which for her was five pounds, 11 ounces. And she surpassed that by like half a pound, right? No, more than that. Five ounces plus 10 ounces. She surpassed that by 10 ounces. So that was awesome and she looks good. Otherwise, of course though, <laughs> funny story. We go to the pediatrician's office and we're walking in. I'm like, ask Chris, did you grab the diaper bag? And he's like, no, did you grab the diaper bag? Um, so I'm just like walking in, you know, hoping, hoping that we don't need it while we're there. We get in the room, she blows out her diaper and we have no diapers, no wipes. Luckily at this point I had her clothes off because I was getting her ready for them to like uh, weigh her and stuff. <clears throat> but yeah, I had to like go and find someone and luckily they had diapers and wipes there. They had a size one diaper though, which was huge on her, but it worked, it was fine. <sighs> Never forgetting that diaper bag again. Last night though, last night was I feel really, really bad for because I was, at this point, I was so tired from the whole day. I was so frustrated from like not being able to nurse her and I was in a lot of pain because it hurt. And so I was getting really frustrated and it sucks to say, like I was getting really frustrated with her. I was like, why can't you just like nurse right? And it's not her fault. Obviously she has a tongue tie. Like she doesn't, and she only knows what she's doing about as much as I do. So. I was getting really frustrated to the point where like I didn't want to feed her like she woke up crying and I just kept trying to give her a pacifier like the her first time rather than pick her up and feed her and Chris actually took her out for a minute and just held her and brought her back and was like I think she's hungry like obviously she was I just was like so over it and I like I did feed her but then like I put her down and I just like burst out in tears was like crying because just of everything. It was definitely like that point of last night was definitely like the worst I have felt since bringing her home, just all over of kind of like everything, you know, tired, overwhelmed, in pain. Um, but I slept in like really late today. I slept in all the way till 10. Um, of course, you know, waking up every two hours because I have a newborn also. But I just feel better today. I think I was mostly just really tired. Like, I think I could have handled everything else had I not been so tired yesterday. Um, but I woke up this morning feeling a lot better. I fed her, it wasn't so bad. It like wasn't as good as when the lactation consultant put her on, but it didn't really hurt. It was just like a little uncomfortable. So I'll take it if it's just for this next like, few days or a week or however long it takes to get her tongue tie fixed. But yeah, feeling better for Thanksgiving. How's your Thanksgiving going so far, little Bobby? It's going pretty good. You having a pretty chill day? I like your socks. Yeah, those are some cute socks. Got the men in the kitchen. And a baby. Put the hand over the face. <laughs> She's like, like it's too much, guys. <laughs> All this cooking's making me tired. <laughs> <laughs> There's Bobby with her grandparents. Oh, she's sleepy. Has she just been sleeping this whole time? Mm -hmm. Yeah.
Whew. Thanksgiving is officially over. I'm exhausted. This little one's all wide awake. Cause somebody just slept and got held all day. All day. I don't think you got set down one time, baby. So much food. So much food. But it was fun. I think we'll be eating leftovers for like a month straight. You won't be. Say, I don't get no turkey yet. Maybe next year. Mmm, baby. I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. Ate tons of delicious food. And now we're all gonna go into a food coma. Thank you.